So today I have a super fun video for you. It is going to be a petite versus tall challenge using the hottest four winter trends. Hi my loves, welcome back. So I have a special guest with me. This is Astrid Hi. and she is a Farfetch personal stylist. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we are gonna have so much fun. We were chatting away because one thing that I love about Farfetch is that, yeah, you can get style advice. Astrid can source things for me. And we were talking about the trends and we thought, you know, since Astrid is down here from Sydney, and Astrid is very tall for height reference. Astrid, how tall are you? 178. Okay. 510? Yes, 510. Yeah. <laughs> so Astrid is blessed with being very tall, and I am sort of petite. I think I'm average height, but you guys know I'm about 5'4, 164 centimeters tall. So we are going to be trying on the same outfit and showing you what it looks like on both our body types yeah. because fashion is not one size fits all, is it? No, not at all. Yeah. There are trends that people think that they can't wear because they're more petite, but no, not true. We're just gonna go through our top picks of what we think is the most wearable for winter trends. And you can tell us whether you think it suits us, but I think it's styles that kind of suit any height, any mm. shape, yeah. and you can just do little tweaks, which Astrid can tell us little tips and tricks along the way. So let's get started with the very first trend. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Astrid what she thinks is the top most wearable fall winter trend. So the top most wearable fall winter trend that I think is really cool but still wearable mm. is blazers, particularly yes. more oversized blazers. Yep. And I think that a lot of people find the term oversized a little bit intimidating, mm. a little bit uh, baggy, but I think that oversized can also be still tailored, but just maybe a stronger shoulder right. or a blazer that you love in maybe one size up so that you mm. can just explore that more oversized, strong blazer trend while still being classic. Yeah, because yeah. I know being more petite that sometimes you get the impression that, oh, it's just going to overwhelm me. Yeah, yeah. But... Oversized, like you said, doesn't have to be like super baggy. It yep. can, you can pair it with something else and it still looks quite... Polished. Yeah, it looks quite <laughs> polished. Yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> so the first example that we want to show you, and I've mentioned this before, is a great Anaquan blazer. And I got this from Farfetch. Anaquan is an Australian label. We love Anaquan. Yes, yeah. she's, it's just very simple, tailoring, yeah. classic. So what we're saying is... Keep your tailored blazers and everything. They will never go out of style. But as an update to that, try an oversized blazer. Yep. Now we're going to talk about denim because denim is a forever classic. We all need a great pair of jeans. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been in a bit of a denim rut and they're saying skinny jeans are out. I don't ever think skinny jeans will be out, mm -hmm. but there's different alternatives to them. Yep. And Astrid introduced me to a new pair of jeans and she owns them herself. And can you tell us a little bit about those yes. jeans? <laughs> so the denim um, that I'm obsessed with, these jeans are Kate, the label, and they are just a beautiful denim. Mm. And they're almost like Mel was saying to me that she loves the, the fit of skinny jeans. Right. And so, you know, you can have an updated denim with a straighter leg and not sacrifice that nice fit around the waist right. that makes us all feel like comfortable mm -hmm. um, if that's what you're used to. So yeah, they're a cropped on me denim yeah. and yeah, fitted around the waist to about the knee and then they just go straight. So it's just kind of a similar but an updated way to wear your denim, yeah. And I think that's what Astrid told me as like a tip for those of us that are not as tall, 
what you should do is on Farfetch, you can just sort it by cropped. Yeah. So it will look cropped on those taller girls, <laughs> but for us, it'll be full length, which kind of works out because then we don't really have to take it up. But I think that's just a great alternative because even if you're 5'1 or 5'2, you don't always have to stick with stick skinny jeans. They can be straight cut jeans. Mm -hmm. They still can elongate you. Yeah. And the third trend that we saw, I think it's going back to basics and you guys are gonna be happy about this because like, you probably own one of these is the classic white tank white tank <laughs> yeah. and tell us a little bit about that i think that the best thing about the white tank is yes. that it's a trend that you know it's showing up on runways in mm, such an mm. elevated way but we all have a white tank so we can relate to that and then find a way to incorporate that with whether it's new pieces or whether it's dressy or casual mm. there are just so many ways you can wear it and you can even do it with both the trends we just talked right. about an oversized blazer in like a bright color if you want to dress it up Absolutely. and your favorite pair of denim yeah and yeah it's just always a classic but a trend as well so i just think the white tank is so wearable but one way that you can update it is there's just different necklines whether yeah. you want a scoop neck whether you want like a higher neck so you know that if you are buying i mean all the denim brands always have a version of the white tank yeah. but even if you're paying a little bit more for that it's never going to go out it's always going to look very sort of chic mm -hmm. i think yeah. okay. okay so next up i have a little bit of a unboxing for you and it is from lv it didn't come in this bag, but sometimes when I get Astra to source items, like my Fendi, it came in a Fendi bag, a box and everything. But this one, it is LV, but it actually comes from the pre-owned section. And this is gonna tie in beautifully with what we're talking about next. And in here, dun, 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 I got this gorgeous, Alma BB in epi leather in this bright orange with silver hardware. So this came all the way from Japan. And can I just say guys, this is in like pristine mm. condition. And I just love this color. So what we're talking about next is, I think every time we go into fall winter, there's always sort of like a color trend. And this time round, Astrid was saying to me, there wasn't exactly a color trend, but definitely pops of color. Yeah. And Astrid, what was your favorite pop of color? Well, the good thing about yes. this trend being every single like color under the rainbow, it's it's really whatever you love. Mm. Mine, mine was pink, um, obviously. So my pants are pink and I'll be wearing these a lot through warmer and colder months. Where are your pants um, from? So these are Frankie Shop. Frankie Shop. And they come with a matching blazer as well, mm. if you want the full um, the full pink set. I'll link them down below because Frankie yeah. Shop is like really affordable. Oh, the prices are yeah. amazing and the quality is fantastic. And I've had a few different styles of theirs and the fits are all, all really nice. They yeah. look so good on her. When yeah, we are trying pink. these bags on, I guess pink, pink and orange actually go really well together. I love together. pink and orange together, yeah. So good. Would, yeah, the, the, the thing with the color trend is, is mixing them as well. Like. Yeah. Yeah, you, just because you've got a pop of color doesn't mean the rest of your outfit has to be yeah, neutral. Yeah, absolutely. You can do color on color, yeah. 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 I guess pick the color that you feel comfortable with. Like with Astrid, she's wearing pink. I would absolutely, I'm, I'm eyeing her pants and I'm like, I really like them. Uh, but it could be orange, it could be green. And if you don't want to do the full color on color, like what Astrid is wearing, she's just paired black and pink. You could pair pink with the neutral blazer as well, couldn't you? Yeah, for sure. You could replace mm. in that... Um, in the outfit with the blazer, pink pants, white tank, neutral blazer. Neutral blazer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a bit of a black lover. This is Dion Lee. This is um okay. another yeah. Australian brand. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go Aussies. <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. yeah, it looks really, really good. Yeah. So don't be afraid to wear a pop of color, whether that's in clothing, whether that's in accessories. You guys know I'm a huge fan of a pop of color. I think all of us are sort of like okay with our neutrals. We love our neutrals, of course, but just to spice things up a bit. And even if it's winter, you can wear orange, pink, greens, purples, yeah. Yeah. so forth. Yeah. So that is my new so bag. Nice. I love it. And I have to tell you, so I do want to thank Farfetch for partnering with me on this video. As I said, I've been working with them for so many years and working closely with Asha for the last couple of years because yeah, the concierge service is 
the best so i do have a discount code for you and this time around and i've heard what you've been saying it, it is not only for new but it's for existing customers so you can get 10 percent off heaps of brands things from pre-owned like chanel lv dior and all of that so if you just input my code that will entitle you to 10 percent off so i'll leave everything down below and i actually did see another one of these hopefully it's not gone by the time this video goes live but there is so much on the pre-owned section mm -hmm. so the next top for winter trend that we think is completely wearable for any height i'm going to get astrid to tell us what that is so the main trend i've seen in mm -hmm. accessories mm -hmm. whether that's bags shoes jewelry right. is glitz and glam embellishment mm -hmm. um you know crystals bedazzling which is obviously a fun one that we all love yes um yeah so handbags shoes earrings as well mm -hmm. yeah necklaces yeah and in tying them in together is another fun way of doing it whether that's a shoe and an earring or a bag and a shoe i think that's in. perfect yeah. for kind of like we're going into party season and i guess we've all been very comfortable being in our uh sweats or more cash athleisure gear so it's nice to dress up yeah. and have a bit of fun yeah and sure. i'm all about embellishments so that when i saw this trend i'm like yes it's because made it's made for me <laughs> because i love a bit of bejeweled so these are my amina muadis astrid has sauce i think one or two for me i can't even remember but they're really popular with a lot of clients yeah. aren't they yeah they're a classic and yeah. they're never gonna um date they come in so many mm. different colors as well and yeah they're just a beautiful i love the satin um paired with the crystals on crystals the, yeah, yeah it's a really nice combination it just really elevates an outfit i think and uh, as i said you don't have to get orange there's pinks there's blues so i'll link in my faves down below it's funny because when astrid saw these she's like oh guess what i brought and yeah, i'll and have I a show you <laughs> malcolm borrow mine yeah you know, borrow her shoes these are the I mean, Moadi Begum earrings. They're so and they cool. are just a really nice way if you've got a more simple shoe mm. and you want to like incorporate it. Right. If you've got a really simple neckline or yeah. something like that, it's just a fun way to add some bedazzling to your to your look. And yeah. and the thing is that I've seen them, but they look so they're, they're they fun. Look, they I look, love them. I love yeah. them. They and look really good. I've worn them with like black tie outfits, but even with like denim. Yeah. It's a fun way to just dress it up and, and incorporate the the embellished trend. and that's the thing even though it's embellished i think a lot of people think oh it has to be like a nighttime event but if you dress it down with denim yeah i mean these look so good with denim yeah they do and yeah, yeah you can wear it from day to night yeah. and then so we've kind of covered shoes whether it's these ones or some of my favorites are manolos as well love them but in bags i've discovered a new brand and i want to show you guys which i just got how cute is this little bedazzled it's so hobo cute. bag yeah it comes with the thicker shoulder strap and the price point is like three four hundred dollars australian mm. and it comes in so many colors so yeah. it comes in black it's such a good one you found that one yeah not me <laughs> you've Blue. got the skill you've got the eye yeah uh, no i'm always i'm on farfetch way yeah. too much <laughs> So this this reminds me or well, gives me sort of like the Prada crystal vibes, but we know the Prada is like 2000 plus. Yeah, this is like 400 and then you can use my discount code and it comes in yellow, blue, just like a whole range of colors, but it comes in this classic. It's really cute. It's a black. cute size. It's a too. cute size. Yeah. So we're going to try that on because just because you're tall, sometimes people think when you're tall and you wear bags that are too miniature, it can look out of proportion yeah. but it's so cute it's so cute I, I wear the miniest of bags yeah and yeah i'm not gonna even though they look extra small <laughs> on me it doesn't matter likewise even when you're tall astrid still wears her heels yeah um maybe she doesn't need to wear six inch heels no. but i think whether you're 5'2 5'4 5'10 just rock what you love and even though we're talking about the hottest trends we just wanted to interpret it in a way that we thought was the most wearable but also give you a bit of tips and tricks and you you can sort of make it your own right yeah, yeah. yeah so how cute is that so that is it guys that was so much fun wasn't it was it, fun. it yeah. was fun <laughs> seeing the top four winter trends on someone that is petite and someone that is tall i think 
they suited both of us, both our heights. I think so. I think so. There's a good 10 centimeters difference. Yeah, maybe. but it just goes to show that uh, these trends, especially the jeans, that, I love the jeans that you picked. You, it can sort of cater for different heights and it's all about body proportions as yeah. well, isn't it? Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I would love to know, comment below, what is your height? Maybe we can get Astrid back, maybe there's more tips and tricks, but I think that, that well, I had a blast. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Astrid, for, for coming me. along. We had so much fun just trying on shoes, bags, and everything. And that's my favorite thing. I mean, with Farfetch, you know, there's Access. It's their Access program. And as you guys know, I'm a private client. And the thing that I love the most is the concierge service. Astrid has sourced me my Fendi bags, and I've saved, like, a few hundred dollars. But you can source anything, can't you? Yeah, there's pretty much no limit to what to what we can love, try and source for I love you that. for our private clients Yay. <laughs> and also um you get early access to sales you also get double the returns time yeah yeah 28 days yep. so that's just as you work your way up even though you might be bronze at the moment it's pretty quick so I've worked my way up to private client and those are the main benefits I love and of course having Astrid I always chat to her about yeah. what do you think is in or yeah. can you recommend me this so that's always fun yeah. And yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to use my code. I'll leave it down below to get 10% off as well. And I will catch you really soon in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. Actually, Astrid and I are off to a dinner soon. So we need to get ready. That will be yes. fun. So that's, I'm going to be hosting an exclusive dinner with a private client team. It's going to be in the city. It's it's going to be like a four course luxurious sort of dining experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. I can't wait. It'll be so nice. So we need to get dressed and go, but I'm going to show you some snippets of that as well. I think it'll be a fabulous night. Okay, before the guests arrive, check out this setup. How beautiful is this? I can't wait till everyone arrives, but it's exciting. And look, oh, check out this view. Okay, so we've just had our four course meal. We're so full. And these are all the guests. Everyone's chatting away. It was just such a lovely evening. what she saw no i'm gonna tell <laughs> uh. <laughs> is that again